mumps, measles, hepatitis, hypertension, heart disease, diabetes, leukemia, arthritis and asthma. All of these are diseases affecting millions of people. The treatments for all of them have been developed with the help of animal testing, or vivisection as it's sometimes known. There are many more diseases that scientists believe can be cured with the help of further testing, such as Alzheimer's disease, cystic fibrosis and AIDS. Many people believe that animal testing is cruel. Animal rights activists and others believe that the suffering animals undergo during these experiments is not justified by the resulting benefits to humans. They claim that it's now possible to conduct tests in vitro without using animals, but the majority of scientists still believe that in vivo tests, those using live animals, are necessary. Animal testing for the purposes of medical research is essential. Um, as you can probably see from my appearance, I'm in the moment going through some treatment, which I haven't asked, but I'm pretty certain will have been tested at one stage or another on animals. Now, whether they're human volunteers or whether they are animals, I will be having the benefit of those, and I can't actually... It would perhaps be very two-faced of me to say I'm against any animal testing. It appears to me that it's always done in a fair way. But I think it's probably better than doing it to humans. I think animal testing is appalling. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, of, uh, much better than they try in uh, a human, yeah? I think it's regrettable but necessary. Well, if it's necessary, why not? One thing that infuriates me as a scientist is what I would call, and, and several other people would call, the cuddle factor, which is if it's a cute, cuddly animal, then it's uh, worse than if you're actually doing some research on a pretty hideous-looking sea creature that is regarded as a, a, a lower animal. Um, a lot of mammals are more intelligent than you think, and there's been a lot of research done by people who are vegetarians on domestic animals such as pigs, who are just as easy to train as dogs and therefore maybe don't look quite so cute but one should assume that they have the same way of thinking and yet some pigs are kept in appalling conditions where they develop some mental states which are akin to depression because they've got no stimuli they are kept in uh, conditions so they can't even turn around they've got no bedding and yet we like cheap bacon and yet with animal labs yes there might be some pain but that's usually controlled quite considerably and it's what an animal is used to but they are probably inspected far more than places that are uh, intensive farming and they're the animals who will probably not have experienced anything else will be kept warm they will have all their basic rights all their needs and therefore, sometimes it's not quite as um, awful as it appears. In regards to um, the animal rights activists that say there should be no testing on medical research that done on animals, as far as I'm concerned, the option is to test on animals or test on them. Most people who protest against animal testing probably use antibiotics and other such medicines, so they're just hypocrites. In theory, I'm opposed to animal testing, but at the same time, I don't really approve of the people who go around smashing up labs and how harassing people's families, do you know what I mean? Like, I think like, you kind of lose your right to the moral high ground when you start digging up people's graves and stuff, but at the same time they have got a point. I think they just kind of make their point invalid by the way that they act. In 1997, the organisation People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, released a film showing disturbing cruelty to beagles inside the laboratories of a Cambridgeshire-based company, Huntington Life Science. The company's licence was withdrawn, but restored six months later. This led to campaigns of violence and intimidation against the company and its suppliers by groups such as the Animal Liberation Front and Stop Hunting and Animal Cruelty. The following footage may be distressing to some viewers. Oh, well, that's about dog. Have a shake. Well, anyway. Oh.